as we have already seen how to upgrade Proxmox version 8 to 9 in standalone Proxmox Note. Blog is also there and the video is also there. So if you want to upgrade a standalone installation, then you must go and watch that video. In order to upgrade the Proxmox virtual environment in the clustered environment, where you have cluster of multiple nodes, and in this particular installation where I have three nodes as a high availability cluster, and where Ceph is also installed, which is a distributed storage, a shared storage where you can have the Proxmox virtual machines uh, having the virtual disks within that uh, Ceph cluster, in fact. So Ceph cluster is installed within the Proxmox virtual environment. And in order to upgrade from Proxmox version 8 to 9, you need to first of all upgrade uh, Ceph from version 18 to 19. So let me show you step by step how we will do it. And uh, here, if you see this particular blog, which earlier I provided, so link is already there, where I have given you all the commands how to uh, upgrade from version 8 to version 9. So we'll follow partially this particular guide. But before that, uh, if you see here, PVE 8 to 9. So here is uh, a cluster of three nodes. So PSB1, PSB2, PSB3. Right now, I'm in PSB1, which is 10.11.12.101, uh, and PSB2 has 10.11.12.102. Of course, I can access all the nodes directly from here. So before upgrading, as I mentioned, that you can simply run the command apt update. So if any new packages are available, so it will get those packages first. All right, so you can see here that there are 32 packages to be updated. So we'll do apt great, and it will upgrade all the packages. So make sure first you update the uh, latest packages in the same version, which is 8.4.9. So it has to be updated first. And then for the safe side, you should uh, reboot. Uh, when you are here, don't just move to any other tab. The reason is because uh, this shell in the web browser will again not show you exactly where you were before. Suppose if I take you this node, and if I was typing something here, and if I go back and come back, it won't uh, take you the same place. So it's better not to interrupt until you have completely uh, upgraded and while it is being done. So you need to do the same thing for all the nodes. So I need to, uh, in fact, I'm here on first node. A third node I have turned off for the time being because I'm working on a hardware. So that node is already turned off. Right now, I'm on first node and I'm upgrading the packages. On second node, also, you can do the same thing. Uh, apt update. This is already done, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm showing you that. So here you can see eight packages can be upgraded. In the other one, there were 32 packages. So I will do apt upgrade. So it will do the install the new packages. You can see here after this, there will be 577 MB of additional. So I won't do in all the nodes for the sake of uh, this tutorial and I want to save your time. So the same process that I will do for one node, you have to do this for all the three nodes. So uh, the first node which I'm here on is this node. So I'm logged in with the same IP address and I'm on the same node. So here it is already uh, updating the packages. So I won't interrupt that in both the nodes. So PSB2 is already up to date. The Ceph which was installed was Ceph Reef, which was the latest version, which was version 18 of Ceph. Now the latest version is Ceph 19, and that has to be updated first before updating the uh, Proxmox virtual environment from 8 to 9, because uh, Proxmox will not allow you to update the version from 8 to 9 directly if you have not upgraded Ceph. So it is better to first of all upgrade the Ceph in all the nodes one by one, and then you have to stop the service of Ceph and then you stop start the service. So let me show you how we can do it. It's extremely simple uh, and I will provide you all the commands in the description. So I'm in the PSB1 right now. So what we need to do, we need to update the repository. So it has to be, a Ceph repository has to be modified from the Ceph reef to Ceph squid. You can see here, this is the uh, command. So it will add this particular uh, into sources list. So what it will do, it will change the Ceph reef to Ceph squid in the sources list of Ceph. So I'll just press enter here. Now it has been added. If I go back here to 
the uh, updates and repositories. So what you will see here, you will see that uh, inside the Ceph, here you can see Ceph. Uh, this is Ceph Squid. It has been updated from a Reef. So, uh, so earlier the version was a Reef. Now the uh, it now it is Ceph Squid. So we will simply now go back again to PSB one, and we'll simply go to Shell, No Out. So, so you have to run the command Ceph OST set No Out, and then once it is or we'll do apt update so it will read all the latest packages and you can see here two packages are to be updated and i will again do app upgrade it is being updated so we'll wait for this right here so ceph manager and ceph module these are being updated uh, right now to note and if i see pve version of course pve version is 8.4.12 but if i show you ceph version it will show me 19.2.2, so which is Ceph Squid stable release. So Ceph Squid is already now updated. Do that here, monitor target, and like this, system restart Ceph. Do it one at a time, not don't do it on all the nodes together. So one by one, you have to do it in in uh, each node, and then it should show you health is okay. You can see here health is warning, but it's fine because one of the nodes is turned off. So it should show you health is okay. Uh, so you have to run this command, which will uh, show you that which version of uh, Ceph monitor uh, release here. And then finally, you need to uh, restart all the Ceph manager targets. So we'll do. So we need to then restart the Ceph manager target. So. Once it is done, then you will do Ceph S again to check if everything is fine. So I have provided you complete guide on how to upgrade the Ceph from Ceph. All right, so now it has completely installed the latest uh, Ceph into Proxmox uh, virtual environment, first node and second node, and all the nodes that are having uh, updated uh, Ceph here. So. If I take you back to uh, data center now, and if I take you to Ceph, and in Ceph you can see, if you hover over it, you can see PSB1 has version 19.2.2 and 19.2.2. So this is the latest uh, release of, of uh, Ceph, and manages is also 19.2. And if I go here to PSB1, I can go here to the Ceph here. This is the configuration of Ceph. So done, everything is fine here. So uh, version Ceph is already upgraded. Now we need to uh, use the same commands that we used to upgrade the uh, Proxmox virtual environment. So I will do only one here and uh, then you can use the same strategy to upgrade all. And you can in fact skip this video here. You can just follow the previous video where I have done for the single node. Uh, so otherwise, if you want to continue with me, you can continue here and you can see that in a, a cluster environment, how we can upgrade from Proxmox VE8 to VE9 when the Ceph is also configured. So I'll take you back here to same Proxmox PSB1 here and we'll run the command again PVE8 to 9, which will show us if everything is ready to be upgraded. So you can see here that it shows one node node is offline so this node is offline it is fine uh, here you can see pve packages version 8.4.0 which is equal to or greater than uh, or required version kernel is also up, up to date cluster service is also running and uh, uh, node entries is also fine everything is fine here health is okay and if you if i show you here none of the vm is running right now so all the vms are turned off so it's better to turn off all the vms if these are running so now what we are going to do here we are going to go to first proxmox node in shell and we will follow the same commands which i have mentioned you here so we will be adding these repositories which are trixie repositories so we'll um, modify book phone repositories to trixie for the Proxmox virtual environment also, and for the Debian also. So you can do it one by one. So I will just copy this first list. And uh, all the details are same here, as I mentioned earlier. 
we have already checked it we can do pv full also and now here is migration so what we are going to do i'll copy this command here i will go to shell and enter this you can see here this first sources list is modified from the book one to trixie and i'll just close these tabs here and now i will add this also to trixie here and now if i take you back to the first node and if i show you repositories you will see here that the debian repositories are modified from the book one to trixie and here also pve enterprise is also modified to trixie so i need to update this also uh, pve no subscription are also book form so i need to modify this book form to trixie so this list which we added earlier this was sources list pve enterprise list so i need to modify this so i'll show you how you can do it you need to make sure that the list is as per your path so which is pv install dash repo so here i need to do the pve so you have to see what uh, repositories list you have so it is pve install dash repo dot list and another is also where we will be modifying from the bookworm to trixie for the ceph as well so you can see here this one is sources dot list ceph dot list sources dot list dot d path is same but here it will be ceph dot list so i'll be copying these both and i will go back here to the shell and paste it here so that these both get added and now if i take you back to the repositories you will see here that all are now trixie so trixie for the debian trixie for the proxmox and trixie ceph storage so everything is done now what we are going to do here we will go back to shell here and we'll do app update so that it it reads the packages list from all the sources which we have added so you can see here it is loading the trixie so here is trixie ceph squid trixie for the main debian and trixie for the uh, security release and so on so debian is also trixie proxmox is also trixie and ceph is also trixie so we'll use the same command that we added here earlier so it was to uh, add the proxmox ve repository which we have already added no subscription repository which we have already added ceph repository which we have already added and now we need to uh, do the apt update we have already done and then we will do the apt dist so it will update the latest version of proxmox you can see here 634 packages will be upgraded 146 will be newly installed and 61 will be removed so whatever is there just type yes it will start downloading and installing the packages so it is a time consuming process you have to have patience uh, in order to make sure that it works perfectly without any issues so you do not interrupt this let it install let it download have patience it all depends on your internet bandwidth you have already seen the uh, standalone installation how long it has taken so i will just wait for this process to complete and then i'll come back to you we press q to quit this is just a uh, read information so we'll press q to quit now it will be so it was in fact showing you the apt old packages of course so press enter here so it will start working so there is no need to get confused just uh, quit for the first time and then in package upgrade without asking so oh, i don't want every time to get interrupted for the installations so i will type yes so every time the new service is uh, installed so it will restart the service automatically and now we'll wait for this to continue and complete so it might take time so just have a patience once
And here you can see now it shows the LVM configuration. So this is the X stage configuration, uh, LVM configuration. So we'll just press enter again for the default. So here you can see now it shows us uh, which version is being uh, updated. So it is setting up a Ceph volume 19.2.0, which is of course uh, the uh, Ceph storage. But here you can see PVE container. Here you can see QEMU which is Quick Emulator Server, which is 9.0.9. .9. And now it is migrating the PSP3 and BS. Uh, don't interrupt anything here. It is just now processing to update the VMs. And here you go. So Proxmox VE 9.0 is upgraded. So you can see here it is right now 8.4.2 if I just uh, refresh this uh, of course i'm on psb1 so let me log in now to psb2 which is 10.11.12.102 and here you go you can see here 9.0.6 this is the latest release of proxmox virtual environment psb2 if i go to summary you can see here so it shows you proxmox ve 9.0.9 Ceph is also 19. So this way we have upgraded the Proxmox from PVE8 to PVE9. Everything is fine working here. Uh, Ceph is also working. So if I show you that Ceph version, so it will show me Ceph in PSB2 is 19.2.2. And if I take you to shell of PSB1, if I show you Ceph, version it shows you 19.2.2 so ceph is already updated how it has been updated because the repository was updated so in order to update the repository you only need to run one command which i have provided in the description so this is the reef squid uh, has to be added in the app sources list d and ceph list if you see here in the ceph list in fact uh, this is the ceph squid which is added so earlier it was ceph reef now the major thing here is to upgrade the Ceph storage or Ceph. Now the latest version is Ceph 19 and that has to be updated first before updating the uh, Proxmox version environment from 8 to 9 because a Proxmox will not allow you to update the version from 8 to 9 directly if you have not upgraded the Ceph. So it is better to first of all upgrade the Ceph in all the nodes one by one and then you have to stop the service of Ceph and then you stop start the service. Proxmox virtual environment is now updated to 9.0.6. I have done this for one. You have to do this for all. And once all are done, then you will see its uh, status that everything will be running. So I have turned off one. And on second node, uh, on second node, I have just done the installation. On first node, I'm still doing it. And third node is so. What I'll do, I'll continue, uh, continue the next video where we'll do the installation of uh, Proxmox VE9 on a hardware uh, without upgrade it will be fresh installation and there you will learn how to set up a new proxmox virtual environment how to then create a cluster and how to then uh, manage the cluster